Hello everybody and welcome to a new MA Tips. This time we have a look at some new features of the layout view. The structure of the layout view is very well known from Graname 2. So we have a layout pool where we can store different layouts and we have the layout view where we can see the objects within that layout. As you can see, we can assign fixtures, group objects or sequence objects. Also some objects like macros or views can be placed in a layout to create a view where we have all our objects ready to use. A smaller change to Graname 2 is that we can use the assign command for everything. So for fixtures as well as for pool objects. To assign an object is very easy. For example, we have a look at the macro pool over here and I want to assign that highlight macro. So I can press assign and select this layout to assign this highlight macro inside my layout. Of course, we can edit these objects later on. So we have some tools where I can change the size of my objects and where I can change appearances afterwards to make it more visible. A new function of this layout view in Graname 3 we can see with my main sequence object over here. So I can assign the same object multiple times in my layout view. This was not possible in Graname 2. What is it good for? Let's have a look at the edit layout where we can see all of our objects and at the bottom we can see our three main sequence objects. Now we have a new column which is called action. And in this action column, I can define different actions for the different objects. That means I can use a go plus, go minus or off for my main sequence. So let's have a look at this. We go to the normal mode again and you can see this is a go plus, a go minus and an off. As you can see, you can also assign background appearances. So to load your lighting plan directly in your layout view or to use some screenshots. So one idea to create a layout could be to make a screenshot of the 3D, to use it in the background and select your fixtures you want to assign in that layout view. So to make it better visible, you can simply take a screenshot of your screens using the print key, then import this as an image and create an appearance with this image to assign to this layout view as a background. This way you can create some very realistic layout views with your real 3D in the background. There are a lot more ideas to make this layout view much more powerful than it ever was. So please stay tuned, have a look at the layout view and see you next time for the MA Tips.